I'm gonna show you how I make my caramelized onion and rosemary brie bites. This is the perfect appetizer that you can serve before Thanksgiving or any upcoming holiday get together. I love it for so many reasons. Okay, first of all, so easy to put together. You can prep everything ahead of time. It's good at room temperature. It can sit out for a while and still taste amazing. And it's keto, so keto friendly but still delicious. Everyone's gonna love this. No one's gonna think they're just eating like a keto specific appetizer. It's something that everybody loves. So um, here's how you make it. I'm using these Brie Bites by Supreme, which I love so much. Okay, first of all, Supreme makes my favorite Brie. It's the best tasting and the creamiest, super melty, the best one. And before um, any pregnancy <laughs> police come after me, don't worry, it uses pasteurized milk. So totally fine with pregnancy. I checked with my doctor and she's fine with this. This is like my favorite on the go snack. So inside each brie is individually wrapped. So this is really easy to like take on the go or pack in a lunch or something. And then inside it's like the perfect little amount of brie. I wanna show you, I love these especially cause uh, you can eat the rind on brie cheese, but this one has such a thin rind that you're getting so much more cheese. So here, it's so good. So inside you can see, let me see, is it too blown out? It's like a super thin rind and then there's all this really good creamy brie. So good. So these are good on their own, but I'm gonna show you how I jazz them up a little bit. You can get Supreme Brie Bites in store. They have a store locator, but they also gave me a 15% off code for you guys for any order over $30, which is gonna help save you a ton of money and like a trip to the grocery store. So you can swipe up, I'll put the code down here and you can see. My cast iron skillet over medium heat, I'm caramelizing these onions. I have some butter in here. And one of my secrets is, just so these don't get dried out and stay juicy, every like five or 10 minutes, I'll add in just water. And this keep them really tender and keep them from like burning and getting too dried out. And the water just evaporates, so it's totally fine. So I'll do this until they're nice and golden brown. The onions are caramelized and perfect. So this is right at the point where you want to add everything else in. So I'm going to add in just a little bit more grass-fed butter because yum. And then over here I have some finely chopped pecans that I'm going to add in. This is going to add really good crunch to it. And then here I have some finely chopped fresh rosemary. This is gonna add really good herby, earthy flavor and add like green to make it look really pretty on the platter. So I'll just stir this and let This is exactly how I would serve them. So I have all the brie bites on this cheese board and I topped it with the caramelized onion, pecan and rosemary mixture. And then I just, to make it pretty, I added more sprigs of rosemary all around. The best part is this can now sit out. I mean, this is fine to sit out for like two, three, four hours, like at room temperature. It's totally fine. It's only gonna make the brie like softer and creamier. So great when you're having people over and you don't wanna be running around last minute. This can just sit out and it just gets better and yummier. And look how easy. Each person can just pick up their own. And it's the perfect like little two bite appetizer. I love this so much. These are just so cute, so easy to throw together. Everybody's gonna love them, but the best part is they're so yummy. Can you see? Mm. It's like so creamy. This is a hit. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs>